Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Falcon here with episode number 4 of our Pokemon Genesis Let's Play. And in the last episode we went ahead and got our rematch on the second gym and we were able to win. And then found out that our dad is studying a powerful Pokemon. And then made our way here to Frost Pen City. And in today's episode we're going to go ahead and probably take on the third gym. And then just keep making our way through the story. But before we get started, make sure you smash the out of the like button down below. It is right below the video. And then hit subscribe. It is right below the video or in the bottom right corner. Um, I just realized more. Maybe people probably don't see that. I should probably actually, you know, make that a little bigger. But I'll do that eventually. Um, but before we go ahead and get into it, let's go ahead and get a party recap. So first up, we have our newly added Beatrice the Primeape. Uh, level 28. Everyone had got evolved. Even Beatrice leveled up, evolved. Uh, to pretty on par with Vital Spirit, Rock and Karate Chop, Seismic Toss, Leer, and Focus Energy. Um, I don't know if Primeape is going to be a official member of the party or not, but she's definitely going to stay on for a while. Uh, at least for right now, because I do believe we have an Ice-type gym coming up. And as you're about to see, our team is very weak to Ice-types. Um, coming up next is Bob, the Low Tad, also level 28. Uh, with Swift Swim, Rock and Magic Leaf, Water Pulse, Fake Out, and Nature Power. Next up, we have Goggles HG, the fl not the Flygon, but the Vibrava, <laughs> um, Bold Nature, uh, Levitate, Rock Gust, Sand Attack, Bite, and Sand Tomb. And last up, we have God, our Pidgeotto, level 29, with Kenai, Rock and Wing Attack, Sand Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack. So, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, okay, so I believe we're first off just going to immediately take on the third gym, which is an Ice Puzzle, which is never fun. Um, but if you're noticing, um, if the audio quality is sounding better with the microphone, um, fun fact, it's not because my new microphone came in. So apparently when I ordered a microphone to, um, you know, have for a mobile setup, um, turns out it was not a microphone. It was just a stand and I never actually ordered a microphone to begin with. So I'm actually back home for the moment for the next few days. I'm back home. So I am still recording this on my laptop, unfortunately, but you gotta do what you gotta do because obviously I tried getting the files of Genesis on my actual PC and that did not end up working and I wasn't able to get that going. So I just have my regular microphone plugged into the, um, whatchamacallit, into my laptop. So I am going to be hopefully um, getting, I'm going to be looking for another microphone, so that's going to be a hot minute before I actually get one of those, and then hopefully I'll be able to have this crisp, clean audio, um, on the road too, because I do, as you know, um, I do work from, I do work at a different job that allows me to sleep there, so I have my laptop, and the first couple episodes are actually recorded with my AirPods, <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to try to avoid that. But until that new microphone comes in, I'm definitely going to try and just sit here and bulk record. And just probably um, just a bunch of Genesis episodes. Um, just so until that microphone does come in, I am going to be able to, you know, still provide decent audio. Because I'm like, I've been doing this for a while now. Like, how am I resorting back to the days where I think I would use an old gaming setup, a habit set, and... I used an old gaming headset and, you know, a, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't even know what the network is, and a, another laptop, I was really back to those days, so I was like, might as well take advantage of the, you know, five grand I spent at home, and ooh, Jinx, I honestly didn't even think Jinx of a pokemon that we'd be facing in this gym which i don't know why because it is literally a it's literally a gen 1 pokemon so probably should have expected that but it doesn't look like she'll be too much of a problem so that should actually be all the trainers um so yeah we're actually going to head back to the pokemon center real quickly and heal our Pokemon, and now let's actually go ahead and go hopefully make our way to the gym leader smoothly. Um, okay, so that was definitely not the way. <laughs> um, okay. And, oh wow, that was actually a lot easier than 
I thought it was going to be. So can we actually save now since I shut my laptop down? Nope, we could not. So that's really cool. So we're just going to go ahead and make a quick little save state in the game. And let's go ahead and talk to the third gym leader who looks like Cyrus. Ah, you must be Falcon. My brother told me you'd be coming. I already defeated him quite convincingly, though. I cannot say that it's particularly impressive. I use ice-type Pokemon. Much like myself, ice Pokemon prefer to dwell in cold, secluded caves. This allows them to gain strength without outside distractions. I don't know if my brother told you this, but he and I have been rivals since we received our first Pokemon. To this day, he has not been able to defeat me. Let me show you why. Alright, so. And, oh, never mind. He's not Cyrus. So he's going to be starting off with a swim up nice 26. Okay, so maybe we are a bit over-leveled for this. Unless he's probably going to pull out, like, a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> um, but that's actually swim up easy KO. So this is looking pretty decent. Lapras. Okay, now I see why we are a bit higher leveled. Which is level 28, so we're not that over-leveled. But Karate Chop still does good. I'm very surf. Does that mean we're getting surf on... Does that mean we're getting surf very soon? And he used a super potion at half health. That's weird, but Karate Chop's actually doing really good damage. And I actually should have focused energy before I even took out the Swanup. And he's got rest. All right. Um, so it's not because he's a, a strong trainer. It's literally just because he's an annoying piece of shit. Noted. That's why Gavin can never beat him. No, this one's Gavin. Michael was the water gym leader. But, ooh, a critical hit and two karate chops. We were finally able to take out the Lapras. So, honestly, picking up Beatrice was probably a really good decision because we'd probably be struggling a whole lot more if it wasn't for her. And a Sneasel. Yeah, we would have. And, oh, the Lapras was his ace. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that has Sneasel down and player defeated the leader, Gavin. That was magnificent. You are truly worthy of the crystal badge. So, congratulations. Here's your badge. And receive the crystal badge. Can we actually get ice beam? Nope, we got hail. Okay, that is expected. So, the crystal ability to fly outside of battle now. Uh, frost pen, you'll get to the next town in no time. Okay. So, is that really all we have to do in frost pen? Is there really no other... Is there really no other, like, what do you want to call it? No other, th nothing else to do in Frostpen? Um, that's weird, but our team's actually looking pretty good. But just because I like having goggles up front, and I really hopefully want to add a Flygon to, to the layout soon. Um, but it all depends. I'm guessing... Safari games. See how many Pokemon you can catch. So this is. This is not the Safari Zone. Where's the Safari Zone? Where's. Where's the Safari Zone at? Um, okay, I guess we're not going to the Safari Zone. Blaze Kick. What? Hell yeah, I'm teaching out the freaking Vibrava. Um, what are we getting rid of? Why is that even a question? Of course we're getting rid of Gust. <laughs> Why could Lombre learn it? <laughs> Rising heat from your Pokemon's feet will blow you away. And, okay, that's a Kingdra for an Aerodactyl trade. That's interesting. But wait, why why could Lombre and Flygon learn Blaze Kick? Like I honestly fully expected Like I, I honestly did expect that Primate would be able to learn it, but like Vibrava? Um I don't know why I'm yawning so much easier now that I'm home. And the Frost Hills. Okay. So what Pokemon can we find here? So there's actually a Poliwag that we could use. So that was pretty cool, but like, 
We already have a nice little water type on our team. Um, what else? Zubat, if you want to use Crobat on your team. Um, Alright, the encounters are honestly looking pretty bland. And what was I going to say before? Oh, um, it honestly... Ooh. We're going to fake out you and do that. Um, but it honestly looks like these this game is going in the route of heart gold and so silver where the um honestly like the, the trainer and wild pokemon levels are just really not really just not being super or like the highest level so i don't know if that's just because we're still technically in the early routes or what but it's definitely really weird but um, ooh. and dragon breath next Honestly, forget Sandtomb. Wait, Vibrava just got a really nice upgrade to his move learn set. Oh my goodness. We're actually going to put you up here. Oh, wow, like, look at that. That's such, an, that's such a great learn set, actually. Um, I'm just really hoping we don't have an electric gym leader coming up next. Because that would really suck if we just got rid of our only ground type move. Even though, if I'm being honest, it wasn't really the best ground type move. <laughs> if I'm being in full blown honesty. Um, actually, let's go ahead and visit the Pokemart real quick. I don't know. How many Great Balls do we have? Let's just get that right back up to 20. And then we'll just buy 10 more super potions. We can buy luxury balls. Ooh, that's... I do like luxury balls. Honestly, and I know I go back to this a lot, but during the Gen 6 meta of competitive battling, um, I would actually try and use ever, put everything in a luxury ball. Just because I honestly just liked it. And it's honestly just one of the coolest Pokeballs. So honestly... With that, well, the question of the day, honestly, what is your guys' favorite type of Pokeball? Because um, it's not only out of that, or the repeat ball for me. It's because I like how just simple they are, if that makes sense. Um, actually, real quick, now that we're in a new area. Okay, apparently there's only Zubats, there's Swinups. Zubats and Swinups. Is that all that's chilling up here? Okay, I'm guessing that's all that's chilling up here. And ooh, got the HM for Waterfall. That's really good, actually, because all water moves are special in this game. So we could actually teach that to Mr. Lombre if we wanted to. And there's Seal down here. Honestly, that's a Pokemon I haven't used, not used, really at all, is uh, Dugong. <laughs> and I really want to use him. And all right, so we have a typical Pokemon Emerald last gym. Um, what you call it? All right, there's just freaking Golbats chilling here. What the fuck? That is wait. That, okay, that just threw me off completely. And we can really just get it counters like that right on the tile. Alright, so we're clearly going to have to go through a handful of times. So I'm just going to speed up through this portion. Um, just because, ooh, there's snow runs here? The attempt to use Iglele is there. There is Sneasel. And there was Sneasel. Oh, okay, we made it out of the cave. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting us to make it out of that cave so quickly. Um, ooh, Vibrava is just one-shotting 
everything. And ooh, Abra, drowsy, not need a Reno. Um, what else could be found here? Ekans, as usual. Electrike. Drowsy again. Ralts. Um, random construction workers that want to fight me. And honestly, that was a misclick with the dragon breath, but like, um, that's okay. There's a lot of good options for Pokemon here. Um, all right, get goggles to level 35. And now I think I want to rock with Pidgeotto until probably he evolves. Um, as I say that, we get you, <laughs> Mr. Magnemite. Um, is there anything else that can be found right here in this area? Nothing that really, yeah, nothing that's really, besides that Abra, which honestly, I want to try and catch. If we catch it, it's meant to be. If we don't, then we're not supposed to, and it's not meant to be. Okay. Um, what is rocking over here besides this old man whose ass we have to kick? And this is a X defend. Okay, so nothing good. Noted. Um... <laughs> And, oh, Granite City. Oh, I thought the game just froze. I was like, hold up. Falcon, my goodness, it's been so long since we last met. How are you? You're here to collect your next badge, no doubt. Well, don't let me hold you up. I only came in for a little while anyway. My lab is located in the town north of here. It's called Palarose Town. Come visit me there. You'll need to find a way across the river somehow. Well, goodbye, Falcon. All right. So, Granite, I'm guessing this is going to be the rock gym leader. So, very smart that we actually ended up cave of origin okay this is not where we're supposed to be um but very smart that we actually ended up <laughs> deciding to train up pidgeotto for the time being and what is what is this what a falcon um hello what are you doing here me oh it's just work what you don't believe me well all right then i guess it's time i can clean come clean you deserve to know but i can't talk about it here come with me i was just trying to heal my pokemon Bro, what? Rick, you're back already? That was quick. Do you have it? No, I haven't gotten it yet. I'll get it after I take care of a few things. Damn it, Rick. We don't have time for this. You know we only have a few more weeks before the day of us. Shh. Huh? Wait, who's that behind you? What is a child doing here? Calm down, Terry. It's just my son. Just your son? Have you completely lost it, Rick? We were warned not to get our families involved from day one. It's bad enough you chose him to retrieve the food, but now you bring him here... All right, that's quite enough. Please stay at my desk while I finish talking to my associate, Falcon. It's the one on the left. Okay, it's time I told you everything. I'll start from the beginning. I was offered a promotion by the CEO of Uriel Enterprises. If you didn't know, that's the building you're in right now. Well then, Rick, what do you say? Will you accept it? It'd be wonderful to have you on board. Uh, sir, you haven't really said what kind of work I'll be involved in. You'll be part of a team researching very exciting fields of Pokemon studies, namely the role of Pokemon in the creation of the universe. You know how Pokemon research has been a passion of mine, Falcon. Even if it meant sacrificing some things, there was no way I could refuse them. I knew that this was my destiny. What? On my first day, I was taken to a place called the Cave of Origin. Some time ago, miners were excavating this cave and found a special chamber. In this chamber were two levels. On the upper level was a pure white ball. It was blinding. It seemed to produce its own light. On the lower level was a similar ball on a molecule level. This ball was completely black and absorbed any light that was shown on it. So, if I can, I've told you everything. Now I hope you understand why I had to do what I did. Do you trust me now? Thank you, Falcon. If you want to know, perhaps even help us with our work, come to Palrose Town. Remember, Falcon, we are the good guys. Now, I'm afraid you will not have to leave, and I cannot allow them to permit you entry again. When you are ready, Falcon, come to Palrose Town. So, I'm not going to lie. I just kind of hit... I just kind of hit yes. I don't really know, but, like, that's crazy. I honestly don't remember all that. Um, but I would really like if we could. Wait, okay, so I guess all the cave entrances around here are just the cave of origin. So I'm not too worried. I'm guessing that's the Pokemart up there. 
but what I'm looking for is the Pokemon Center. Because I want to heal my Pokemans. If that's allowed. And I don't know where the Pokemon Center is. And this is literally just the house from... No, I don't want to learn Feather Dance, but this is literally just the house from... Um, Saffron City um, with the girl and the guy after you beat Team Rocket um, oh this is the Pokemon Center okay um, I don't know why I'm checking my team but um, okay so maybe the gym is not here unless I'm just stupid maybe I'm just stupid unless maybe we'll check this last cave that was over here Yeah, that was just the Cave of Origin. And fun Hyper Potion. That's handy. Um, so I'm guessing we're just gonna keep going south then. Um yeah, okay, they're letting us go to Granite Beach. And so we should have to correct that one we and oh okay. The Granite's Gym Badge. The gym is here. What? So where's... Wait, what? Where's the gym then? Unless this is the gym? No, that's the depart... Wait, what TMs can we buy? Nothing there. Okay. And Aurora, Hyper Beam, Dig, Brick Break, Secret Power, Attract. Okay, so nothing but hot garbage. Except for maybe Brick Break, but... Um... So where is the gym? I know, this is just Cave of Origin. Where is the gym? That's the Pokemon Center. Go to the Cave of Origin. It's a cave that spans all the around... Oh, <laughs> so it's right here. Actually, since this is most likely a ground type gym, let's go ahead and teach. I'll get it for nature power for the moment, just because I honestly like having two stab water boos on Lombre. Um, oh, wait, we should have. Oh, we should have. Uh, whatchamacallit? We should have. We're going to go check real quick to see if that department store has a, I believe it's a water stone that evolves them. Um, ooh. Okay, so we're actually going to speed up through these trainers just because this is a lot. These are a lot of trainers, but, um, wait, I'm just realizing it. Do we actually need cut? To get through this gym. I, that's annoying. Um, but we can easily actually blow through these trainers. And, ooh. Doug Trio, we can easily live through that. And, honestly, Lombre is kind of been, like, blowing through a lot of this game. Honestly, if you actually are playing this game... Uh, you should definitely, honestly, pick up a Lombre for your playthrough, because Ludicolo so far, or not Ludicolo, but Lombre has honestly shown to be a very, very nice addition to the team, because obviously, so far, two out of the four gyms we've actually had to go up against has, uh, actually, we've needed Lombre, so that's really good, if you want to use that, and I just realized, I don't have, I never put the... I am so stupid. I never put the download link to download the game in the description. Wait, I am, wait. <coughs> oh. Everyone better bless me in the comments. Oh. Um, what do we call it? Can we, oh, my bad dog. 
Okay, so can we not buy? Can we not? Damn, we can't buy a water stone here? That's really annoying. Oh, oh. Um, I was really hoping we'd be able to buy the water stone, but that's actually because I'm dumb and forgot to just do it. Let's go grab our cut guy. Mr. Centret from the, uh, whatchamacallit, the PC. And now let's actually just say screw it and go take on the fourth gym leader. Um, I actually kind of feel bad that I just blew, I just zoomed past all those, all those trainers, but we're just going to go ahead and do this, and let's go ahead and talk to the gym leader. Well, hello, you're here no doubt for my badge. To be honest, I don't think you have it in you. Have it in you. And victory in a Pokemon battle depends on sheer strength of will. You must put in long hours of training if you wish to win. Enough talk. Let us begin. So we're going to go ahead and take on gym leader Sasha. Um, okay, wait, I meant, I can't, okay, so she's gonna be leading off with a Bastiodon. So we actually got Lombre at level 32? Okay, we're just gonna immediately hit this thing with a Surf. How much damage? That does good damage, that does over half health. And Taunt, okay, because we only have four attack moves anyway. So let's just go ahead and click another Surf, and that should actually be the end of this little Bastiodon. And we'll go ahead and get some EXP. Rampardos next? Wh I honestly thought Bronzor was the only Gen 4 mod. I didn't realize Rampardos was in this game. But it doesn't matter because Rampardos isn't as bulky and we take him out too. Uh, Bob, go ahead and get into level 34. What's your last Pokemon? Aerodactyl. A rock type specialist with only. Uh, oh, I just hit the mic. But rock type specialists with only fossils. I like that. I honestly wish more rock type specialists were later in the game because I feel like every rock type gym leader is just like is just um in the beginning, the first portion of the game, and then it's just like oh yeah, Geo dude, and then whatever like brand new rock types in the game. But I like this idea of just them all having of like these rock types having just these fossils and also these really powerful rock types but it doesn't matter when you have the long breaks aerodactyl is down and that is actually the gym badge i'm shocked how could this have happened how could i lose to you all these hours wasted what's done is done you have to feed me and therefore this is yours and the mineral badge which actually means we can go ahead and surf now too and team 39 for rock tomb and the next gym is in Palaros Town. Okay, so let us go ahead and go right back to the Pokemon Center to heal up our Pokemans. And honestly, wait, let me put Sentry back in the box before I forget. And no, not our starter, but our Sentry. So instead we're going north. Which is right here. Okay, so I guess the surf is how we're gonna. That's actually how we got the frost pen. This is actually. I'm just realizing this. Oh right, wait. So this is where we started. And then, okay, we didn't actually go to any of these yet, because then right after here we got a boat all the way down here, and now we're here. So we're actually going to be going here next. So, that is what we will be doing in the next episode. Um, but, if you guys enjoyed the video, like always, make sure you hit that like button down below. It's right below the video. And then go ahead, hit subscribe. It should be right below the video in the bottom right corner. And right now, it should be popping up as your screen, as long with the last episode of the series. So, with all that, I'm going to go ahead and get the hashtag out of here. And I will see you all in the next one.